I have been seeking a chance to talk to you from an equal position. The name is Arcana. Hello. The leader behind Manus Vindicte. Thou art acquainted with us. How wonderful. I am pleased. Lady Verton, here is an official offer that you joinest Manus Vindicte. <sighs> Miss Arcana. Why? Why? It's simple. I simply adore thy visage, emotionless in each storm. I adore that which shineth in gold, nestled in thy cranium. Thy flesh and blood belong unto us, if only a fraction of an ounce. Do I have the right to say no? Absolutely. As I said, we are in an equal position. I ask that thou answer three questions. Answer me, then thou shalt leave, lest I indulge in thy suffering. <laughs> you can't. Don't waste your time. Miss Schneider, it is you who betrayed us first. Is that so, Mr. Forget-Me-Not? It seems we have never reached an agreement. After all, your promise was a lie from the very beginning, Miss Schneider. You should have known what was coming for you. <laughs> So, what are the three questions? And how do you indulge in my suffering? Content thee, my child. The answer will be revealed for both of us. The first question. What is the ultimate purpose for the Foundation to create the storm? <gasps> what? The Foundation? Isn't the storm created by you? Time is up. I was expecting a better answer. Start with her right hand. Her gesture with a gun bothereth me. Schneider! Shh. This is too much for her with a broken hand. Then, the second question. The Foundation experiments on the orphans of Arcanists. Is this true? Yes. We are looking for the Arcane antibody immune to the storm. And I'm the only successful subject. And the name of the antibody is? Asymmetric Immune Protein G. A story in an inappropriate time. People call it a lie. Thou shall not be misled by an abominable worm, Lady Verton. Or her limbs are not my next target. The last question. As the only one who bravest the storm easily, I wonder... The Arcanists thou hast met, how are they? I 
I will join you. They are not very well, are they? I rarely meet them. Most of them are deserted. In the mental hospital, the correctional institution, the abandoned orphanage and the streets that no one sets foot on. We have been deserted by the principles of this world. As though we were born to be so eccentric and marginalized. Thine eyes are not blinded, Lady Vertin. Bon venon, Heyman. <laughs>